Long-term effects of chemotherapy can vary widely depending on the type of drugs used, the dosage, the duration of treatment and individual patient factors. While many side effects of chemotherapy are temporary and resolve after treatment ends, some long-term effects can persist for months or years, and in some cases, they may be permanent. Here are some common long-term effects of chemotherapy. 1. Cardiovascular issues. Some chemotherapy drugs can cause long-term damage to the heart muscle, leading to conditions such as cardiomyopathy or congestive heart failure. Regular heart function tests, for example echocardiograms, may be necessary after treatment to monitor your heart health. 2. Peripheral neuropathy. This is when nerve damage has occurred as a result of chemotherapy. Symptoms of peripheral neuropathy are tingling, numbness, pain, or weakness in the hands and feet. This condition can persist long after chemotherapy ends and can affect daily activities, such as walking or handling objects. The effects could be permanent in some cases. 3. Cognitive changes, also known as chemo brain. This is when patients experience long-term cognitive impairments, such as memory problems, difficulty concentrating, or foggy thinking, often referred to as chemo brain. These symptoms can last for months or even years after treatment and may impact your work and daily life. 4. Fatigue. Persistent fatigue is one of the most common long-term effects of chemotherapy. Unlike normal tiredness, this fatigue can be debilitating and last for years. It is recommended to do regular exercise, have proper nutrition, and good sleep to try and manage the effects of this fatigue. 5. Bone health. Chemotherapy can lead to bone density loss, which increases the risk of osteoporosis and fractures, especially in women who experience early menopause due to treatment. It is recommended to have calcium and vitamin D supplements, and do weight-bearing exercises, to help maintain your bone health. 6. Infertility. Chemotherapy can cause permanent damage to reproductive organs, leading to infertility in both men and women. This risk is higher with certain types of chemotherapy and if the patient receiving the treatment is at a younger age. Fertility preservation strategies, such as sperm banking or egg freezing, should be discussed before starting chemotherapy treatment. 7. Secondary cancers. There is a small but increased risk of developing secondary cancers, such as leukemia or lymphoma, years after having chemotherapy. This is due to the DNA damaging effects of some chemotherapy drugs. The risk varies depending on the type and dosage of chemotherapy drugs that were used for treatment. 8. Kidney and liver damage. Some chemotherapy drugs can cause long-term damage to the kidneys and liver, leading to chronic kidney disease or liver dysfunction. Regular blood tests may be required to monitor your kidney and liver function after treatment. 9. Lung damage. Certain chemotherapy drugs can cause long-term lung damage, leading to conditions such as pulmonary fibrosis, which causes scarring of the lung tissue and can reduce lung function. Long-term symptoms of lung damage are shortness of breath, a chronic cough, and a reduced ability to exercise. 10. Hearing loss. Some drugs can cause hearing loss or tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears. This could be permanent. As a result, this can affect communication and quality of life, especially in older patients. 11. Digestive issues. Chemotherapy can lead to long-term changes in your digestive system, including chronic diarrhea, constipation, or changes in appetite and your weight. Dietary adjustments and medications can help manage these symptoms. 12. Emotional and psychological effects. Depression, long-term anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, can develop after undergoing chemotherapy. The psychological toll of the cancer experience itself can also contribute to these issues. Counseling, support groups, and sometimes medication can help manage these long-term emotional effects. 13. Endocrine disorders. Chemotherapy can cause long-term effects on the endocrine system, leading to conditions such as hyperthyroidism, which is an underactive thyroid, or it can lead to diabetes. Regular blood tests may be needed to check your hormone levels and manage any imbalances. 14. Immune system suppression. The immune system can become weakened for months or even years after chemotherapy treatment, which can lead to an increased vulnerability to infections. Patients may need to take extra precautions to avoid infections and may require ongoing vaccinations or immune-boosting treatments. These long-term effects highlight the importance of ongoing follow-up care for cancer survivors. Regular health checkups, monitoring, and supportive care are essential to manage and reduce these long-term effects, 
helping survivors to maintain their quality of life after treatment. Remember, it's essential to consult your doctor or healthcare provider for any chemotherapy treatment you need, and any concerns or questions you might have about the treatment process. We hope you found the information in this video useful.